Hey, you guys, SCK the Homesteader here with an update of her potato slips. All right, you guys, so for the last uh, few days, probably a week or so, I have neglected cutting my slips and putting them into jars. So they went totally wild in here, as you can see. <laughs> um, I did tell y'all that they was attaching to my uh, blinds and they crawling up the ceiling right now. So I'm going to uh, peel these off, cut them in halves, and put them in a jar. And then I'm going to take these two tray, well, three trays out and just sit them on my deck and let them continue to uh, produce slips because um, I'm getting a lot of uh, uh, nets, um, fungus nets now. So it's time for this to go outside. And. Um, yeah, they just really, really wilding out right now. So, I will cut these in halves, put them in a jar, which I already started this jar. This jar is pretty much full. So, I'm going to fill this up, and then I'm going to let these continue to grow and create more slips. And you guys, if, and I'm sure you done um, started dealing with that, the um, gnats, what you can do... Um, if you are starting seeds in, in the home, you can um, actually kind of tone those down, um, calm them down with these sticky um, papers. And you could get these on, um, on eBay, also Amazon. And Amazon got some really nice ones with different flower shapes, but these will help um, control these um, gnats. And um, they're, they're super reasonable. They're not the most attractive thing when you put them down, but they, they definitely do the job. So you can also use these in your greenhouse. If you have a greenhouse, you can place them in, you know, strate strategically around your greenhouse um, to help control that issue with them. So again, I'm going to cut all of these back. Man, these things went totally wild. Totally wild. I'm going to cut them back, cut them in half, put them in a jar, and then I'm going to take my trays and let them sit out um on the deck or my table where they could get a lot of sunshine and they will love being out there and they will put produce tons and tons of more slips so hopefully this jar i'm going to try my best to get this jar planted up um this week but um these may um root out really quick um because I'm taking them from the bottom of the potato where they already have their root balls um, forming with some roots on it. So these might um, be prepared by the weekend to go in the soil as well. So that's the plan. I'm going to do my best to try to get to um, getting these in their uh, raised beds that I created in my new grow area. And then I'll just let this continue to grow some more slips. But like I said, they, they went totally wild, totally wild. But all right, you guys, so let me get to cutting these bad boys and um, getting them in these water jars. And I will talk to you guys real soon. SEK the Homesteader. Peace.